a new book suggests that Meghan Markle's boyfriend questioned her friendship with Irish golfer Rory McIlroy. According to a recent book, Meghan Markle's ex-boyfriend allegedly questioned the friendship she had with Irish golfer Rory McIlroy. This week, investigative journalist Tom Bowers tell all book, entitled Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the War Between the Windsors, was published. Bauer described how Meghan and Rory first connected in a chapter titled The Irishman, following his unexpected Ice Bucket Challenge nomination of her in 2014. Bauer claims that Meghan insisted he visit her friend's apartment in New York to personally dump the ice on her, and he gladly complied. He wrote that McElroy had recently broken up with his blonde fiancée, Danish tennis star Caroline Wozniacki, and was rumored to be pursuing brunettes. After posting their Ice Bucket Challenge video, which helped raise money for MND research, the two met Rory for a drink at the Fitzpatrick Hotel. It's believed that John Fitzpatrick, the hotel's owner, saw them and invited them to join him and 20 of his friends for dinner at Cipriani that evening. The following morning, McElroy traveled 30 miles to Ridgewood Country Club to play in a brand new competition, according to Bauer. After a busy night, he was worse for wear and dropped to 100 first place. However, in order to be prepared for the next day, he refused to sleep as he usually does close to the golf course. He returned to New York by car to see Meghan instead. His performance dropped off. Later, Meghan, who was then dating chef Corey Vitiello, gushed about the athlete on her blog The Tig, which was later taken down before her 2018 nuptials to Prince Harry. The actress stated in a blog entry, Ah yes. Ronald McElroy Rory McElroy. Whispered, and shouted, to be the best golfer in the world, dumping icy water on my lone head for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge while being adored by Tiger and revered by Palmer. Rory McElroy, that one. He is a force who enjoys working and playing hard, relishing intense workouts to support his title, embracing nights of sipping Opus 1, his bold and impressive choice of wine, and enjoying group dinners at Cipriani, of course for balance. The most endearing aspect of this man, aside from his work-slash-play balance, is his character. He is as genuine and honest as they come, enjoying a plate of pasta with veal ragu and expressing a love for his parents that is uncommon in men his age. Or, to be honest, at any age. He is real, not just the real deal. And perhaps for that reason, he is even more beloved. According to Bauer, Meghan was keen to use their close relationship to promote herself, according to the book. She pushed for photos of McElroy and herself to be published in the media, he claimed. As she would later admit, she occasionally set up a paparazzi photo or let info slip out to the press. According to Bauer, Meghan's chef boyfriend Corey questioned her relationship with Rory at the time, but the suit star insisted they were just friends, and he believed her. Later that year, Meghan used her connections to nab a speaker role at the One Young World Conference in Dublin. Excited about her trip, she posted a message to an Irish friend of McElroy, lock something down. I travel there from October 14th to 17. XMM, have a good night. Bauer penned. Meghan went to Ireland with her boyfriend Corey, but while they were in Dublin, they had a private meal with Rory at Fade Street Social. The press reported on their dinner date at the time, and one publication claimed Meghan appeared smitten with Rory, which annoyed her Canadian lover. According to Bauer, Corey challenged Meghan about her friendship with Rory once more in the book, but she insisted they were just friends, and once more he believed her. The following day, the newspaper published a story about Meghan and Corey appearing to be madly in love while vacationing in Ireland. It is thought that Meghan's agent later contacted the media for a correction, 